All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today you join me on the wrong side of the car because I'm in this left-hand drive FJ Cruiser, but that's a separate video entirely. The reason for today's video is because I've just bought a Renault Megane, a Renault Megane, for 295, I was gonna say euros, 295 pounds, which is about 330 euros in case you care, or about 300 million French francs. Now, this Megane actually came in part exchange against a Toyota Aventis that I did a video with. Do you remember the 2007 diesel? Well, it came in part exchange against that. I'm guessing the previous owner wanted a car that actually started in the morning and wouldn't leave them stranded and didn't let water in. They are really garbage, this era of Megane. I don't know exactly which model year it is, but because of this horrendous key car that I've got, it'll be a 02 to 09, that model. Do you remember the shaking that ass TV commercial? be that era and they were riddled with faults so I thought I'd bring you guys along for a quick tour of it I thought that would be quite entertaining so let's play a little game shall we I'm guessing it's the 1.5 turbo diesel because most of them were I'm guessing there'll be a ABS light on or a fault there'll be some sort of fault with the brakes if it turns out to be a high spec model with four electric windows then my guess is only one of them works if it has a sunroof then that won't when you shut the front doors, you'll probably hear a sloshing because they'll have let water in. It'll probably have a flashing glow plug light. But to be honest, none of that really matters because I've given £295 for this. So, if it's a complete nail, then I'll just scrap it. I've got to get £250 just for its weight. That's why today I'm in quite a good mood. I can't possibly lose, can I? Right, well, see you in a couple of minutes then. Let's go and have a look. Well, here we are. It's in a nice shade of blue, actually. Oh, that's mine as well, isn't it? That's my Navara that's been abused. This car park's quickly becoming the, the place where all the high peak autos YouTube cars come to die. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Quite a nice color blue. We've got what look like Xenon lights, but I suspect aren't. Let me do a vehicle history check. Now, as always, I'm gonna use a company called Car Vertical. All you do is go to carvertical.com, type in the vehicle reg, which is Kilo Lima 08 Kilo Alpha Echo. Check vehicle. That is a Renault Megane. It's now checking to see if it's ever been involved in any accidents, checking to see if there's any outstanding finance on it. It checks to make sure it's not stolen, all that sort of stuff. So it's really important that you do one of these checks before you buy a car, crucially. Like I say, in this case, it doesn't really matter, but it is really important that you do a vehicle history check. Now, I've done a deal with Car Vertical, so if you click the link below in the video description, you'll get 10% off each and every check that you do. All you need to do is click the link below in the video description and use the promo code HIGHPEAK. Right, the report is back. View report. So, that is a Renault Megane. It's given us the VIN number. Warning, mileage may be tampered. See what I mean? It's really important that you do one of these checks. It hasn't been stolen, it's never been involved in any accidents, and there's no outstanding finance, so that's all clear. Manufactured in 2008, registered in March 2008, had some maintenance in 2010, had its first MOT in 2011, more maintenance in 2012. It is really very good, this, because it shows you, gives you a load of information. MOT-wise, let's see if there's any MOT. Its last MOT was in 2021. Oh no, July, sorry, July 21 was its last MOT. We're now in mm, August 22, so yeah, there's no MOT on it. It's a good start, isn't it? So we can't drive this, unfortunately, but I can take it around this little industrial estate. And it is done approximately 80, 85,000 miles, so probably 88, maybe 90. But yeah, the mileage does go up and down every year, or one year in particular. Right. It's also checked the database in dozens of countries as well, so it is definitely worth doing. Right, let's go and have a look then. See how bad this is. We've got alloys. What's really good look is the space here in this FJ Cruiser perfectly fits one Renault Megane key. Fate, that's what that is. Right, here we go then. First impressions, um, it's not that bad, is it? I've just noticed the near side front tire is decent. Well, I say decent. It's a brand I've never heard of, but there's six mil of tread on it. The discs look a bit ropey. It wants a very good clean, this, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. The sill's not all damaged. 
We've got a triangle tire on the back, again with plenty of tread. And it's a decent spec this because it's keyless and the mouldings are colour coded. I forget this spec names, but it isn't a bad one. Original supply and dealer plates. Another matching tyre there. I was trying to work out the brand, but I still haven't heard of it. And matching triangle on the other side. Matching plates. This looks quite honest so far. There's no rust. Keyless works. It smells like Renault, if that makes any sense. You'll know what I mean. They all seem to smell exactly the same. I mean, it needs a clean, but it's not the dirtiest car I've ever had. Let's have a look under the bonnet then. The doors aren't slushing around with water either, like they usually do. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a two litre. I felt sure it was going to be the 1.5. Missing its screen wash cap there. Quite a big engine in such a small car. Right then, so what we're looking here for basically is any obvious oil leaks. Because I'm no mechanic. I just know what, what's right and what's wrong. There's nothing, nothing obvious there. Of course, it's full of trays anyway, and covers. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They've got a built-in dipstick. Oil looks black, but then it's a diesel, so it will. Battery's been replaced recently, I suppose. The coolant is on the minimum, but then we are a bit on a bit of a hill, so perhaps it's that. It's giving a false reading. Let's fire up then. Will she start? Shouldn't need my key, should I there? Mm. A little bit reluctant to start, wasn't it? Top up the oil level, my ABS light's on. Didn't I predict that? And we've got a spanner light on. Sounds okay though. Will the air conditioning work? Let's try that. This is the big test. We've got a quarter of a tank of fuel, check ABS, service due, top up the oil level. The mileage is 95,223. There are face masks everywhere in this car. Got the radio code there, that's handy. And what looks like plenty of history. I'm sure the service book used to be in the back of the owner's manual. Oh, look at this. Right. Loads of history. Serviced in 2009 at 10, then at 20, then at 26, then at 35, then at 42, then at 54. Oh, wow, there's even more. I was going to scrap this car. I really was planning to scrap it, but might be a little bit of life left in it. So it was last serviced in December 20 at 84,000 miles. So it's done 10,000 miles since then. But well, that's way better than expected. When I saw one key and the fact it was an old Renault Megane, I really thought there wouldn't be any history at all. We've got additional bills here as well. New battery. Right, well that has added a little bit of value to this car. We've got all the old MOTs as well. i say the air conditioning doesn't work. Do the old Renault window test. Let me see how many windows work. Drivers. This can't be right. Passenger side. We've got three out of four here so far. Is it going to be a full house? I don't believe this. This must be the only Renault on the road with functioning windows. What about the central lock-in? Does that work? Seems to. Seems to. 
reassuring local. Radio set to smooth. That makes sense. Let's have a look in the boot. See if there are any treasures in there for us. Well, the struts work. Could almost do pull-ups off them. Right. It doesn't stink of water. Got a full toolkit, full-size spare by the looks of it. No idea what that is. Right, well, it's a fairly complete, honest car, this. Like I said, the MOT has expired, so I can't take it on the roads. But I'm just going to take it around this car park to see if it engages gear. See if it's got a reverse gear, that sort of thing. Well, the clutch feels okay. First, second, little brake test. Let's check reverse then. Well, we've got a reverse gear as well. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Try and get it through an MOT, or at least take it for an MOT on Monday, and see if it passes. If it passes, I'll get it cleaned up. And this might be, I don't know, what, what's it worth? A 2008 Megane done 95 with a fresh MOT. It'll be worth a grand, doesn't it? Let's do that. I'll have to catch up with you in a few days. Right, so the Megane still isn't fixed, but I've got a list of things that it failed on. So, it needs a new bottom arm, new CV boots, the ABS lights on. Now that turned out to be an ABS sensor, which is about 60 pounds. I haven't had it done yet, I'll get onto why. It's got a frayed driver's seat belt. Now, they're going to advise the front brake discs and pads. The rear springs are corroded, so they'd have to be advised. And a dust cover on a ball joint. So, all in all, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought. And it it drives okay as well. My mechanic said that it would cost around £320 to do all the work. So that added to the £300 I paid for the car would owe me £620. And I just, I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. So what I've decided to do, rather than scrap it, because I think there's still a bit of life left in it, I've decided to sell it to a mate of mine who buys some cheap trade cars off me. He's going to do the work himself, and I think he'll be able to do all this work for about £150. So we should have a decent car there with a fresh MOT on it for about £500. And I think, cleaned up, should get around £1,000 for it. Right now, because of all the warm weather, it looks like a car that's been abandoned at Malaga Airport for months. But it's quite bright under all that. So that's my plan. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. And yeah, cheers guys. See you next time. <laughs>